lovely walks and we've got a nice sunny day. I'm only bringing little Flynn. Come on, you're on, on, a, on a list, aren't you? To get him used to traffic and uh, different things and away, being away from uh, his pack. So we'll just get across this road down past the doctors uh, and then we'll start. So we're going to go up the first um, pit tip. We're going to go up uh, Clipston pit tip. So uh, we're going to have a nice walk in the sun and uh, we was going to have a cup of tea sorry, a cup of hot chocolate, but the flasks leaked into my rucksack, so I've had to change rucksacks and bring, I brought a some pop instead. Um, so, oh, my seat pad was in the other rucksack, so I've not brought that, so unless we can find um, a seat, then we won't uh, be sitting down, but I don't really often sit down anyway just keep walking brought little flinny like i've just said um because i think he needs a bit of uh, extra training um he's absolutely terrible when you're walking with the all the others he's so reactive to everything um but uh, on his own he's walked down he stopped at every junction he only reacted to uh, one motorbike um he did start to react to a man in a fluorescent jacket, which is expected, and I told him quite sharply um, before when his first body language first started to change. And uh, he stopped, and I was just telling him we were a good boy when a load of motorbikes from Wizzing Pass, so he had a bit of a moment. But uh, when a motorbike's gone past when we've been at the crossing, is uh, and I was telling him that he'd got to uh, wait and be good didn't react so he's just young and in full of it at the minute um, he's I've lost track he's probably coming up to 18 months um, he's over one I've lost track um, when his birthday is um, no, he's probably not quite old, uh, 18 months but uh, he is a good boy other than that so I've not brought my hat because of the sun and now it's windy and it's blowing my hair all over everywhere and around me ears uh, well, uh, I think I have got a school cap for um, underneath my helmet in the back of this backpack, so we, we might uh, put that on if it gets too windy. But uh, in fact, I'm starting to get a bit warm. It's uh, quite sunny, quite nice, but the wind's still a bit chilly. So this lane you might have seen us go down up and down on some of our runs that we do we always start here in fact we start further up up there where i've showed you and i have brought um another camera that's got a bit of a zoom on so we might uh, be able to get a few closer shots well we are going up there but we've got to go around the back to get up there and we're going to walk along the top and there's a beautiful view from the top so Pliny, not there come on the doggy lives there yes it does so this path leads to lots of different um footpaths and bridleways cycling paths so quite often we start as walks from here or cycles from here. This is uh, the first pond. There's two more ponds further that way behind. Uh, the other two are used for fishing lakes. This one's not, uh, but they were designed as runoff ponds for the tips. But then uh, they've turned two of them into uh, fishing ponds. And I've never seen anybody fish on this one, but it's very deep. This one is. Come on, Flynn, stop eating things. 
dog is eating rabbit droppings again. All right, well, I'll tell you a bit more when we get uh, further up because if you can see there's some people coming. Well, you don't want a peaceful walk if you bring Flynn. Flipping nightmare this dog. Perfectly fine if nobody's about. And normally he only reacts to people when he's on the lead. But uh, we've had a couple of uh, embarrassing uh, situations with two with a couple and uh, fellow with a stick. I think the stick was the what was spooking him. But uh, he wants to go and jump up everybody. And when it's muddy like this, then people aren't very happy. Perfectly fine when we walk round outwards. Because never see nobody. But when we come other places, it's a bloody pain. And he hates being restrained. And so it makes him worse if you grab hold of him. And he acts like a wild child. Bloody pain. Anyway, never gonna get to tell you any information at this rate, am I? So, if you can see what path I'm on, this is farmer's path to come to his fields and uh, it goes up and under um, a bridge and uh, like I said before you'll probably see quite a lot of uh, my um, running videos we come under this bridge. I'm not going to go under the bridge today, uh, we're going to go take a turn in and go up onto the pit tip. So I will tell you, I'm getting hot, I might end, up, end down to my t-shirt at this rate. Um, I'll tell you a bit about uh, this area, um, I started uh, telling you on my cycling video but for them that's not seen the cycling video I'll uh, just uh, tell you a bit so uh, we have Clipston Pit that away and we have Crown Farm Pit that way and uh, I finished off telling you about oh for a minute we have a horse hang on a minute right Flynn are you gonna behave no he says sit sit hey yes naughty aren't you aren't you this video is going to be all about you today, isn't it? You're a bad boy. You don't bark at horses. He says, yes, I do. Hate horses. He says, he says, you picked me because I reminded you of Badger. He says, so Badger hated horses as a puppy. So I'm going to hate horses. You're a bloody pain, aren't you? Bloody pain. Hey, making me swear, aren't you? Right, I've got a sweat on. I think this. I think I'm going to be down to my t-shirt. It's no good. But, uh, wrong dog to bring. If you want um, peace, total peace, on a walk, you bring Badger. Badger is absolutely bombproof. Not to say that he weren't a monster when he were a pup, but he's such a good boy. Don't have any trouble with Badger. He goes everywhere and does everything, and uh, don't react react to dogs just wants to be everybody's friend, everybody loves him, everybody you bump into loves him. So, uh, right, let's let you off. Now the horses have gone. You can't, oops, you can't video. And I think when I get up uh, to this turning, the coat's coming off because uh, I'm getting very, very sweaty. But uh, very pretty. Nice to see the sun and the blue sky. 
So, right, we are back to telling you about the pits. So, you can't see over that way. You can't see the pit tip anymore because they took it down. Because it was so old, uh, yesterday I said the Mansfield, well, Crown Farm pit um, opened in, I said 1909 and it was 1904. Um, in them days they weren't so good at processing the coal once they got it out so a lot of coal went in to the pit tip so in the modern day when they could uh, reclaim it just got to go over this style So I was saying that uh, the modern process of reclaiming coal out of the tip had improved so uh, they decided to take it down and I have searched for a photograph um, because the tip was like a bit like an ice cream cone turn an ice cream cone upside down uh, maybe make, make it wide at the bottom though a big a big ice cream cone and uh, that's what that's what it resembled this is uh, the only picture i could find and it's from about two miles away this is the building site that i said i used to play on it only just started building oak tree estate where i was yesterday and uh, everybody everybody knew it as Mount Crowney and uh, people, well, especially people my age, um, had never known it not to be there so when they took it down I don't think people were very pleased we loved it and it had turned into a, like a little nature reserve all trees had grown on it and grass and there was rabbits and foxes and deer and it was really nice but uh, they wanted the coal out of it so down it came so you can't really see it anymore down there is the cycle route where them people are that's whose dogs were barking at me They're cold. I bet it's cold that. Looks a bit frozen in the centre, just a little bit. Eh? Got all nice and wet. So this pit tip that we are climbing is Clipston. And uh, there's a little uh, plaque and stuff and a seat and everything at the top. And there's quite a, not, a lot of nice views from up here. So, I will tell you about the collieries. Well, I'll try. I think we should be all right up here. Might start again. Completely start again. Um, so, you know, can follow what I'm talking about. So, two pits a mile apart. And uh, one was called Mansfield Colliery, but the name didn't stay um, because they built it next to a farm called Crown Farm. And uh, so the local miners used to call it Crown Farm. And uh, over the years, especially towards the time of it shutting in the 80s, all the locals used to call it Crowney and the pit tip Mount Crowney because it looked like a mountain. And I was saying earlier on, I have found a photograph. Um, for some strange reason, they don't seem to be 
any photographs of it? Oh dear, dog. Dogs come in. So, in 1904, uh, Mansfield uh, Pit was uh, built by the Bolsover Company and uh, then, as I probably, probably you lot that watched my um, video yesterday will know, that Clipston Pit, uh, the land was bought but it wasn't um, built till after the First World War and uh, the land was used as an army camp there was 30,000 men camped on it at one point found these three photos these are the huts that they built to house all the soldiers anything I talk about if I've got some photos I'll put them up just after I've uh, told you about different areas and that's going to be the theme of these uh, Wednesday walks uh, it, uh, it's getting really warm even though we've got a breeze it's a good job I took my all weather walking gear off that I normally don't walk the dogs in that uh, it's starting to look a bit scruffy these days but it's warm it's weatherproof and uh, it gets a bit of a battering by the dogs sometimes when uh, excited puppies jump on you so we're nearly at the top of Clipston tip and the difference in this tip to Mount Crowney um, is vastly different because as the years went on they were better at sorting the coal from the muck um, on the top when it came up so I'm hoping you can see all this and the sun is not in, my, in your eyes I think it might be better if I turn around and then I'll be squinting so sometimes I've sheep on here, they fenced it off and uh, this was my son's favourite walk it uh, used to bring Tyson our uh, Alsatian Malamute and my Staffy Cross up here When he was young, my uh, youngest son, uh, and it wasn't. Let me turn around. You can see it's like a a walkway now with fences either side. It was all open in them days. So, uh, oops, I've got to watch the puddles. I have now got splits in my boots. I get to repair the walking boots every year uh, I normally can make them last over the summer uh, and have to have a new pair for the winter because I normally wear them to death because they're never off my feet normally so they split the other day so I've got to watch them walking puddles but uh, it's very pretty and if you look over there not these um, native trees but right over the top of them that is Sherwood Pines so when I talk about running in Sherwood Pines and doing the park run that's where it is and behind these trees here there's a path that me and Bev run up regular and just behind there is a golf club and that's another place I used to play when I was a kid and we used to get told off. I never used to take any notices. I just used to go and play in a different part of it. But, um, I'm making myself out to be a naughty little child, aren't I? <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. We were just playing, playing dens, riding his bikes around, walking, um, 
Well, it didn't do no damage to anything. But it would just, uh, or you get off home and we used to vanish. Um, and I don't think they was really bothered. It was a different, in fact, it was a different world when I was young to what it is now. A totally different world. And this area was lots of little villages. Now they all joined up with ours in the States and stuff. But um, it was. slightly splattered but I see birds I've got a bit of wind now so I just hope to I got a lot of wind noise on this camera Flynn found a little spaniel to play with and they've been flying around flicking mud up in fact I wouldn't be surprised if it's not all over my face it's uh, all over my jacket and my trousers he's such an idiot that pup anyway we're to the first uh, city down place but I haven't brought the wind muff now this was silly wasn't it so I won't do no talking and I'll put music over this because take another couple of steps it's going to be blowing my head off uh, you'll be able to see the headstocks uh, if you've watched some of my videos before I've already put a photograph up of the headstocks from the roadside but you'll be able to see the headstocks and all over Clipston village and uh, I'll do a, a voiceover um, if it's really really windy and I, and I can't do no talking um, and point out different uh, places and I might get my other camera out oh, I've, got come, I've got to come back a bit that's it shelter behind these bushes get my other camera out and try and zoom in on places to give you a bit of an idea of Clipston village you can't quite see old Clipston because it um, goes down the rat hole which goes down a dip and Clipston Village is lower so you and we're not going to be able to see Clipston Village old, old village so but I'll point out different places what we can see right let's go just about to zoom into is where the pit used to be that building that I've just moved away from 
is Veolia and where I've zoomed into is where Mount Crowney used to be. My son works at Veolia. As I pan round, that's Forest Town. That's the farm in the foreground. That's the doctors, where we started from. That bit of the estate up there is the start of Clipston. Oops, a bit shaky. That's uh, Clipston College. That is a local football ground. There used to be a Lido there. Then we've got uh, more of the village, Clipston Village. And the shops. That's the main street where all the shops are. And that's going out back to the end. There we have the headstocks. That's where the pit was. Nice peaceful view from the top, sat on my little bench, having a drink and a snickers bar. And if you can see, Flynn insists that he has to make sure every single muddy patch and puddle is inspected properly. Don't you, boy? Here we are. Look, here is the more there the little I don't know what you call it. It's like a little tabletop with information on. Right, I'll turn you around. Good boy. They don't want to be muddy. I went to look at uh, the information board and Flinny was naughty, got me into trouble by them two hello. people. Flynn. Not that he did anything wrong, he just Flynn, wanted no. to, to uh, the... went to say hello. See, the Flinny's got me into trouble again. But, uh, but he is very muddy and he only wants to say hello to people, but there's a lot of people that don't like dogs. And, uh, and we have the headstocks again in the distance. I might get my other camera out and get a closer view because with the GoPro you can't see anything. In fact, I can't actually see them through the GoPro screen, but with my eyes, they look, it looks like we're right on top of them. So, uh, just uh, spin you around. All them trees down at the bottom of this slope is leading into Vickers Water. Uh, on my uh, bike ride if anybody uh, is interested in Vickers Water oh, in fact we'll go that way around and everybody can have a look again
beautiful blue skies. It's a bit windy up here. I don't know whether I can put my hands round the mic. But we're going to go down this hill and it will come out on the path that uh, I told you about when I was on the bike ride I pointed and says if you go up that hill you go up the top of the pit tip so this is it Plenty of benches if you get tired. Well, you need this one because when you come up this hill, it's a steep one. Very hard work. Here we are, down at the top pond of Vickers Water. Vickers Water Car Park now. There's two car parks, one at the top and one at the bottom, which if you've seen my other videos um, you'll know. Um, I didn't decide to go down to the bottom, I came down that path to this pond instead. Um, Wednesday walks I've decided Flynn is banned. It's a sunny nightmare to take a walk. You can't concentrate on anything else but him. So He's banned from Wednesday walks. So anyway, we're off up home now. Um, I'm absolutely covered in mud. Remember, when you come out with Flynn, never to wear any decent clothes. Just put your dog walking clothes on, because most of that is him. And it's same all the way up my jacket. Surprised if I'm going to all over my face. If I'd have been walking on my own, maybe I'd have had a little bit of mud round my boots, but not all over my trousers. I don't know. And the wind's getting up again, so you might not be able to. I don't like to have lots of wind noise on uh, the video. If I stand and talk, it's a little bit better. Where are you going, Flynn? There's some sheep up here, so you're going back on the lead. I know they're in fenced off area but I'm very very careful with my dogs even though um, Rexy my Irish one has been sheepdog trained um, 
No, I have to keep sheet up training. If I can find the photo, I'll stick it up on this. Um, experience of sheep training, sheep dog training, you don't really take any notice of sheep anymore. Um, I just sometimes get a little bit excited if they're the other side of the fence. But like when we go on holiday, we go to a sheep farm and after the first day he takes no notice of them. But Flynn might be a different kettle of fish this year. He didn't take any notice last year but he was a pup. So I think that's it. Um, I'll just pan you around and show you that's the field that the sheep are normally in. So Flynn's going on the lead. So see, see you next Wednesday on the next Wednesday walk. first Wednesday walk. First thing, don't bother with the flask because I found out why we don't use our flask because it leaks. Uh, second thing is Flynn is banned. Um, Flynn's not coming on Wednesday walks no more. You can't have a peaceful walk with a stupid puppy. Uh, so one of the more sensible dogs will be coming on Wednesday walks and um this week's wednesday walk oh i'm sun's, oh, sun's in my eyes sorry i don't know where to sit uh, so today's wednesday walk um was kind of a success other than a few uh, mishaps didn't quite go where i was intending to go um we went slightly off course because the pup was distracting me and I can't uh, remember uh, facts about the area and dates and stuff when I'm trying to um, control a stupid young pup. So uh, not too bad, hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching and um, I'll just show you my crocuses when I was moaning about the snow on them and it might have ruined them. Let me go over and show you. There we are, look. It's not killed them. One or two are starting to go over, but they've been out quite a while now. I've had to move them on to here um, because of the dogs. Because they were on the wall, but the dogs can get on the wall and the dogs get into everything. And one little Rexy was treading in them. So I didn't want them flattened. <laughs>